So I was born in Melbourne. I lived here my whole life until I was 16 and played professional Dota. I first started playing Dota and I was like really into it. I was just playing non-stop for like 10 hours a day. And my mom, she would tell me to go to school, but I would like try to get out of it. I would eventually get sneaky with like how I get on the computers, use the camera to like film what password my mom's writing so I could like see it and stuff. I'm a different person from where I was a few years ago. Traveling and living and going to all these places makes me more adventurous and courageous. Now, as a player, I push myself to the limit. Up for Ana as he turns now on to Envy. They only have 20 more seconds left on the stages, but it might be enough regardless because they kill off the bear yet again. GG called OG. Doing it big here in the group stages. Because if you die in a team fight, it's great. But if you die, you know, when you get picked off or whatever, it's just a lot of extra gold for the enemy team. Aggressive Plums, BKB, Seb is going to be rough. So immediately called Embrace. Underneath the Zeus, though, Nimbus Clown. It should be able to do some damage, but they don't want to focus on him. It's first is going to be No Tail. No Tail does die. Around their shrine, though, Aaron's still trying waiting. to up. Aaron Sarf does manage to get the time lapse off. Seb is still alive. He's okay, but they already got the Luka to blade on the Bolt bring him down to half health. Zeus gets a little bit more damage, but Seb managed to draw the distance on X. X has an and runs him down with a Phantom Rush. And now Aggressive. I'm not sure if he can take this fight alone next to SRF is still trying to pick up the supports, but Aggress is going to be run down oh, by the Phantom Lancer. So Phantom Lancer actually managed to get Blood Right Silence, but still, they get a stun out from the Dragonite onto Aggressive. Blood Seeker goes down. SRF just can't possibly do the damage. Winter's Curse holds him in place. Bulbicon and Knight are going to do the buybacks coming in. The Undying's going to try and help him out, but SRF doesn't have the mana. He's already dead. Anna is just too big, and he still has full HP as well. Bulbica is going to die the illusions here. As IG, multiple buybacks. OG start retreating a little bit, but Anna thinks about it. He knows how strong he is. He can still keep on going. In fact, he's going to try and go and help out Jarek's again aggressive. Good play by Jarek. Getting onto the high ground. Anna rampage on Q. Like mana, he's just going to keep on rampaging through all of these heroes. They don't have BKBs. They don't have the AOE damage to be able to deal with these illusions. These days, right? He's going to the Centaur. The Centaur's done with the blood right. He kills the Centaur, but he finally oh. dies. What the hell are the neutrals doing? They're, they're playing for IG. Has a swap. He knows he's spotted, but he can't stop Anna. But they do manage to get the Brambles, plus the bug on him. Anna's going to try and deal with the bug, because he's already taking so much damage. They need to be careful, though. Jarrus is here. Siler has to jump out. And they do manage to blow up the Dark Willow before he could get the shadow. Oh, it was on cooldown. No Tail thought about using the curse, but... Bottom lane, Yang's trying to get away from Thompson. They're going to reveal him. And the ultimate, the Dark Rift, just isn't going to be able to get him away fast enough. Siler's still trying to hunt for supports. Nice. He needs the help of Rezo this time. The wraparound, they need to get them all grouped together, but OG, they're doing such a good job. They're instead going to try and take on Thompson first. They force him out, but again, the cold embrace, it's so hard to deal with. They have the light streak as well. Now they have buyback on the Dragonite. MSS walking forward, finds the Echo on the two. It's not, it's not bad, but they're not going to find it. And he doesn't have buyback either. OG potentially with a position to get themselves some of these objectives. There's no buyback on three of these heroes. And OG streaming forward, Ana going to take a lane of barracks. This Phantom Lancer has just gotten to that point. If they can't sync up the damage from Rezo, what's left? They can't do a lot. Thompson? Stun, a little bit off the mark. Fuel Scepter lift up. That's the light tank array, able to get out of there. He's got four heroes chasing him, and he's just out. And meanwhile, SVG dies. They chase him down by Ana. Ana, a mad troll in the river. The Storm Spirit zip in, looking for anything at all. Does find the kill there. Onto Thompson, not bad. Can they find any more Seb left alone? The Roy board forward, they do throw out. Hunter's curse though, and now trying to take down the Storm Spirit. They do find the kill. Ana gets him, and now turning onto another. He's buying his bashes, and MSS also caught and killed Triple for Ana. So close to trying to turn that all in favor of VGJ Storm with that double damage room on the Storm Spirit. But Step alone in this bottom lane, going to run into a lot of heroes. You don't want to commit so many onto the Venom, but if you can't get any abilities off, it might be enough. The Winter's Curse, though, to turn it back around. Great play, they're all caught in it. The Light Striker right on the bar. There's no more as well coming from the Venom. They get the set off, but it's not going to last. They turn on to Rezo, get the bash, find the kill. MSS also in trouble as all of VGJ Storm fall. Got the BDR TV. TZ does right now. BKB's on cooldown on it. Uh -huh. Walk into him here. The Manta dodge. Buyback's gonna come out from Sen. They feel like they can maybe try and take this fight, but Somali's in with the combo. The damage is too much. Oh Anna just getting God. critted down. They've lost Jerex. Anna trying to run himself away from the burns too much. Seb jumps in. The buyback, the hawk from Anna. He comes into play. Can he turn this one around? Seb, falling low. Taken down with the homie whistle. They'll get on TZ. Can they get anything more? They're able to oh, fight Tiny. Oh. They're able to fight Fly. The buyback hawk from Anna. Absolutely doing it. The buyback's there from OG. No hesitation is now up.
Matizzi, he buys back, there's four dead on EG, three of them don't have buyback! A little bit harder, here comes OG. Clone will be created, they look towards Roshan, he's down to 3.5k, Spectral Haunt is up, and X Nova, here comes Spectral Haunt, to the front lines, Thompson using the clone inside, and the Echo, Jirax, he got the jump, the perfect hit, Thompson's got the double kill, they've just got the numbers, that's what happens when you can clone yourself, FY, he's trapped inside the cogs, but it's OG who will willingly trap in there with him, LGD in real trouble, Anna has the double kill, the buyback comes in from FY, and it comes over as well to join in the kill. The three of them find one. TP's are coming in, Chalice. And he says something up with Arme. There's that. Oh, look at the jump here on the control. Jared straight in on it. Arme and Arme pops the BKB, but it's too late. Somnus finds No Tail on the side. The buyback's going to be there straight away from No Tail. Somnus zipping across towards Jared. The all out from the CF for the BG armor for Seps coming down. They've got the chain stun onto X Nova. Anna's still alive for now. They get the double kill. The corner embrace. Keep it at her alive. The Winter's Curse holding by the attacks off the Chalice and Charger. It's home for survive, he gets up to the oh, high ground, he's still alive for now, the armor from Seb, keeping the spec to save Thompson will fall though, dives too deep, Anna wants to find Somnus, pops the Manta style, they get the kill, ultra it's kill. an ultra kill for Anna, he's still alive, Chalice, he wants this, but can he actually get it, he's got to back off, Anna will TP out. Oh, Arme, you're better. He's losing, losing, Arme's gonna get caught out by the tornado though. They've opened up onto him, Arme, trying to get on top of Anna. The BKB popped by Chalice, he'll get the ult out. No Tail getting caught on straight away by f with the circle. No Tail's dead for 100. They'll get the Chen, Anna, in the midst of it, trying to lock down onto FY. Rest of his team about to come over to get the tornado. Out on to X-Nova Seb. Looking for the cool control onto Arme. Has he got it? Arme getting stunned up by the cool step, and he's able to wait for him. The Hyper Thompson blinks in. He gets the hex out, but FY with the snowball save. They get the match out. Sonus will be able to find the IO, but they're fully low on GD. That Sonus there for two minutes. They get Thompson. Thompson there for two minutes. Only Anna. Anna. Can he do it here? Is it half out? Lifetime as three dead now on LGD. No buyback. Can he find a chance for the RP Chalice on the high ground? They're gonna head into the pit, OG. They're confident knowing Seb can sit there on the high ground, ready for the counter play. Arme getting sprouted. Chalice looks to make a play, jumps in, immediately going for it with the lasso. Has he got the control to get the damage out? He can. That's gonna be Arne dead, but Anna buys back straight away. Arme moving in with the BKB. Rocha still alive throughout this all. They've lost Thompson. The slide, the chains, the remnant across. They'll get the kill onto Chalice. Bubble. But now Arne's in the middle of it all. Yules it himself with the flame guard, ticking it point down. Like the slide of fist, the RP. Seb, he's got the control on time. As OG, they find three, they look towards Somnus, surrounding him in the pit, Somnus, he'll go down as well. The buyback from Anna, securing the fight here for OG, there's only X Nova left alive, but not for long, they chase him down, they get the T-White, triple kill for Anna. Level 23 as well, as Anna He's charges in. Finds himself the change. The boat is going to head over towards his way, but he yields his up. His Lincoln's has been pot set. Goes with the RP, dragging back the Kunker. Can they kill off Somnus? He's very tanky without her. It looks like he'll be fine. They'll get the Chalice jump with the lasso onto the Ember Spread. The FY Echo Slab as well onto Anna. Can they actually kill him off? They don't have the damage. Anna's able to get the slide of Fist out. There'll be a buyback from Thompson. It's Jarrett. The Solar Fissure onto two. Sets up for the double kill. Anna. He's found two. And OG. Looking for more, Seb trying to hunt down Somnus, the dust upon him. Seb's got the skewer, he's got the blink up, can he peel him back towards his teammates? He can't quite catch him. 
Somnus will be able to back up a no tail. He's in with the sprout, the chains, the setup's there. Anna closing in. He'll be forced to the side. Somnus, can he get himself back to the fountain? He'll turn, he'll clean out the summons there with the tiebringer here. But he's stopped in the tree line. Anna just going for the kill. Is Somnus still alive? They get themselves now a bigger target, potentially Arme. Arme, he's sprouted. He has got something. Can he get it off? He can't. Arme cut down. As the tier fours now being taken by OG. There's all the time for his people to get Chalice. It's another down. OG, can they get Somnus? Somnus. He's doing his best to hold. 10 seconds before he's got teammates back in set. Peeling Somnus away from the fountain. And is on top of it. Somnus. Down to half health. He's trying to retrieve the chains. They get themselves another Somnus taken down. Azame with a BKB reflection. Anna starting to be forced back. They have got X Nova and FY back in the game now. No Echo Slam or Global. The Ancient is exposed. As OG, the Nimbus down, the shockwave from Seb gets themselves a number. They're onto the Ancient. OG. OG. I've done it. They have done it. A team tipped by some to be the 18th most likely to win TI, and they've just gone and done I, it. They don't believe it. If you look at them in the booth, they look they've stunned. They've just gone and done it. That was a team that was shaken up months before this event. They just Ripped formed. Apart. They just reformed this team. Thompson, he's only been playing for a couple of days. His earnings were three thousand dollars before this. Oh my goodness. Oh gee. Congratulations OG. to OG. They deserved it. They, they played what? out of their minds in this entire tournament. They didn't follow anyone else's strategy. Maybe that was that was, that was a stepping stone. They just played their own game, and it was miraculous. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, OG, your TIA champion! Wow, what a game and what a match. OG have done it. They've completed the miracle run. Thompson, his first professional LAN event. No tail, you can see just the joy overcoming him with his teammate Seb and Jerex. <laughs> Truly a redemption story here at the International. OG have completed their destiny. Anna, Thompson, Seb, Jerex, No Tail. Now the five that are the champions. The Phoenix! The Phoenix from the ashes! They rise again and again and again! From the open quarterfires! From the open quarterfires! your champions OG the Aegis is yours the Aegis is yours get your ass over there one second you're a TI champion no tail I guess it's real it's fucking real. breathe it in take your time hundreds of thousands of people here I'm, I'm, I feel so blessed I feel so blessed Thompson, $3,000 in your pocket. You come to TI, you get an email from Notel, you're a TI champion. What? <laughs> I wish we could keep going, but go get the ages. It's yours. 
Rogers Arena! Cinderella's story ain't got nothing on this! OG! Your TIA Champion! Use your hands and just fucking go, man. Don't be afraid. Hop in! 